Mr. Benu Gopal, your party time is over. I am giving you a few minutes. Let me, let me, let me. Thank you, Chairman, sir. Letter. Please. Thank you, Chairman, sir, for giving me an opportunity to participate in the demand discussion of Indian Railway. We are all really proud of Indian Railway, which is the third largest network of in the world. Currently, the railway budget is primarily funded from three different sources. We know that. One is budget support from the central government, then extra budgetary support resources, primarily borrowing, and public-private partnership. Then the most important thing is internal resources, including passenger revenue. Surprisingly, over the past year, so many years, extra budgetary resources is increasing every day, including loans and privatization. Internal resources is coming down. Whether is, this is good for a healthy economy or not, I think Minister can throw some lights on that area. Because our, actually, in the year 2019-20, EBR was 83 crores to 247.33. 2021, 1,28,567 crores. And last budget, it is 1,1,500 crores. The government is heavily depending upon EBR, basically including loans and privatization. We know when we are taking loan for developmental works, the burden of interest will come on common people only. Finally, the people will suffer. Therefore, in long run, it, this will depreciate the overall financial situation of the railway. Therefore, I think Minister will give some light on these things. Mr. Murali then already pointed out about the Bande Marat mission now. We have announced 400 new Bande Marat trains, 2020-23. Whether we are equipped to build this much one day Marat train, or what is the government plan about that? I would like to know about that. Two, three concerns I have to share with the Honorable Minister. Earlier times also, when the, during the question hour, I took the opportunity to bring into your notice about the senior citizens' issues. Their concessions, so far not solved. Therefore, Ah, that, that's not, uh, that issue is not solved. I raised that issue in the parliament. That issue is not solved. The concession of senior citizens has been suspended since regular train stop operation in 2020. With the COVID pandemic reveal, really relaxed, the railway has resumed train services also. What is the stand on the government on the senior citizens' concession? We are talking about so many things about the senior citizens' upliftment, their benefits. But what is the clear stand on government on this thing? I would like to know about that. In, in 2020, the railway used to give concern in 53 categories, including senior citizens, students, sports person, and medical professionals. After the 53, only 15 categories are now getting concession. Earlier, 50 percentage discount was given to senior female passengers. We are talking about women empowerment. And 40% to male passengers in all classes, that is not already stopped. That is already stopped. Therefore, it should be reviewed. I think minister will give some concrete positive reply on this regard. <coughs> Sir, I am coming from Kerala. I am representing Rajasthan. Therefore, both the states need some railway assistance financially. Or even though we are having so much financial constraints, I think the Ratlam, Dungapur, via Bansara, via new rail line project was sanctioned in railway budget, but work is in, in slow process. Completion of Ajmer, Savai, Madhapur is also, also a, a rail line project in Rajasthan. It should be expedited in a little, be, bigger way. Kerala, all over India, now the passenger services has been commencing, started. 
those but few only. I think in Kerala only one passenger train already to Andhra Nagar Kovil has been started so far. Passenger, common people are using this passenger train only. The express trains are used by the regular passengers or something. Common people, ordinary people are using passenger trains. Those the ministers should consider about uh, starting passenger train all over India in a full-fledged manner. Then coming to the major thing, one point, but which, which is very, very, very important things. I think this Honorable Bittas raised the issue of Silver Line project. Murali is not so tall. I am very sad to say that, Honorable Chairman, sir. We, our CPM colleague, and we together fought against the Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train. Why? Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train, 1,25,000 crores from public exchequer. It is not on a priority based project. The people are suffering to travel in ordinary coaches. The lack of coaches is there. Lack of railway tracks is there. Government is not modernizing in any, in, in any way. They are concentrated, Modi government concentrated on Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train. CPM Nash, Central Politburo passed the resolution against that project. We stand together with the Congress and CPM, stand together with to fight against that project. Still, I am thinking Maharashtra unit of CPM is totally opposing that project. Why this hurry of Silver Line project, my dear why colleagues? Why this project? 30,000 family is going to be evicted. In, in Kerala is the goat's own country. We are calling it the goat's own country. Why? The natural beauty of the Kerala. Ecological fragileness of Kerala. But now we are hearing the... Now we are hearing the crying sound of people, children, elder women. You can, you can, you can, you can even see and imagine a communist government, a communist government is bulldozing this anti, anti environmental project like this. Hey, can, can you imagine? I can, I can, I can imagine a BJP government which is totally sponsored by corporate groups is doing bulldozing this type of things. Can you imagine that a communist government is bulldozing all these things? There were my simple, therefore, the honorable railway minister, the, the, Survey thinks the stone is putting every word on the name of central government. They are telling they are got in principal section from you. That is why they are putting stone. Every, every morning, some of the family members, they come to see the sun in the every morning. But instead of seeing the sun, they are saying some stone is putting in their house. As a, as a, actually, as a villain of their life. There, were, there, there is no environmental impact study. Here only mentioned that there are two floods we faced. The people of Kerala are in a very difficult situation. They, 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 they are in a very difficult situation. Please, please, please no, Sir, sir, two minutes only. Two no, minutes. No, no. I, I'm, I'm concluding. See, your party doesn't have time. They, they, but the chair they, are, given they are now telling 65,000 uh, project. project. Was given, you have they, 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 are, they are talking please. about 65,000 project. Please, but please, how? It will come around 1 lakh, to, one lakh. Where is the money is coming, sir? Where is 1 lakh crore is coming? There is, there is a, there is a thing. There is a line is there. There is a line. Well, 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 uh, yes, yes. Whenever we are talking about the common people, you will tell that BJP and Congress together. You people are together. CPM and BJP are together to kill us. No doubt that we don't want BJP support. We don't want BJP support. Sir, I am concluding. I am just concluding. I am concluding. Sir, 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 I am concluding this. Sir, 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 I am telling only one thing. There, there, is, a, there, is, a, there is a clear cut level. We have four airports, sir. Kannur, Kodikod, Kochi, Trivandrum. In Kerala, we have four airports. Bullet, this, this high speed, semi speed rail, how many will be, how much will be the passenger fare? We know that. Develop these four airports, brother. Have Udan scheme, make, make use of Udan scheme everywhere. Develop the existing railway line. Develop the existing railway line. Take the government of India support to have a, have, 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 expand the existing railway line. Then you do that without Thank doing you. that. Thank if, you. if the Kerala government is bulldozing there, I would like to ask the railway minister, it is the minister's duty to clear that. 
whether the government is given if the sanction for this project, whether the DPR has been approved, whether the environmental study has been conducted, any economical impact study has been conducted, then why? Social economic study. Then, this are thank the you, thank you, thank the you. which is causing the common man of the Kerala. I am calling the minister. The, 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 the of the Mr. common Mr. people is there in Kerala. Thank you. Thank whether you. the minister is going to intervene, stop these things. Thank I would you. Like to have thank you. The next speaker is Ajit Kumar Bhuya.